guys, it's Lauren from Brilliant by Design. Today we're going to talk a little bit about STEAM activities and what you can find at the Dollar Tree. What does STEAM stand for? It's an educational approach to learning that integrates science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. And why is this so important? It promotes problem solving, reinforces critical thinking and reasoning skills, it inspires creativity and innovation. It encourages flexibility and adaptive thinking. And it supports collaboration and communication. So the other day I went to the Dollar Tree and I wanted to see what you could get to facilitate STEAM activities. And I was happily surprised by how many choices there were. I'm a little bit obsessed with this shop because it's only a dollar per item. So for someone like me who has lots of ideas, it's a little easy on the wallet. I found a bunch of great STEAM activities. I was looking especially for wooden blocks. Wooden blocks are great. They have lots of different purposes. I found two different sets of alphabet blocks. I got them both. They both have nine blocks in them. Um, and they're nice. They're wooden. Um, they're pretty smooth. You might want to run a, a piece of sandpaper over to just clean the edges up a little so they're not super pointy. You can keep them with the letters on them. I'm probably just gonna put a little bit of chalkboard paint on them and that way children can write or draw whatever they want. Next, I got popsicle sticks. They have 100 craft sticks. These are the small ones for $1 or 100 colored small craft sticks for a dollar. They didn't have the jumbo craft sticks at this time, but they usually do, and I would pick those up as well. Those are great. You can never have enough clothespins, and you get 36 clothespins for a dollar, which is a pretty good deal. You can make all kinds of fun things. You can just have the children work on clipping things together. Great fine motor skills, open and closing, um, obviously to build in the steam, especially the engineering and construction aspect. Children can start to figure out how to connect several popsicle sticks using clothespins. <laughs> box of these 10 reusable mini food storage containers. Now these I love, obviously they're great for putting your kids snack food in, but as far as steam, they're great because you can put fun little things inside. Children can fill them with little sequins or beads or what have you. Children love putting little odds and ends inside and then they stack up. So they're great building blocks and you get 10 of them. Oh, I also bought these boxes. It's just a stack of three gift boxes for a dollar. They're gold, fun, shiny. And we all know children love shiny things. So do grown-ups. <laughs> uh, here we go. But I love these boxes because really what you get out of it is you get six, you get six trays. And as the children build, oh, and you get fun little inserts. Let's see what the kids will do with those. You might save those again for another project off to the side. But using a few of the blocks we had before, you never know, they might stack them. So these are just so much fun. Also, you know, when you stack boxes, they stack this way, they close, they stack this way. Whoop. Maybe not that way, but this way. <laughs> I'm working on my spatial reasoning skills as we go. Also, you could use the paper clips with these and clip them together and build up this way. You could balance and see if you can get more and more going. 
I love doing challenges in the classroom. The kids love to have a weekly challenge or a challenge in the morning. Um, you could give them a set of three boxes, six lids, however you want to view it, and a few clothespins and challenge them to see how high they can build. <laughs> These are great. These are hair rollers. Um, some people call them flexi rods, I believe. I love them, they're great. You get six of them for a dollar and they look like mini pool noodles with bendable wire inside. And they are just so much fun to play with. These you could have, I would probably splurge on these, maybe spend $10 and have a pack of 60 of them. Put them together see how kids could build up with them. They're quiet and oh my gosh, the sensory input you get from the squishiness of the foam and the pliable nature of the wire inside. These are definitely going in my quiet box. During rest time, the children will have something to bend and fidget with and build. This would also be a great fidget during meeting time if you use those in your classroom. Let's see what else I have in here. Oh. Dowels, you get 15 wood dowels for a dollar. The clips work great with the dowels, the clothespins, because they have this little round shape in the middle that clips perfectly with these. Okay, what did I get next? Oh, these little plastic forks, you get 75 pieces for a dollar. So these looked interesting because they have the pronged edges which fit together. They're not too sharp. They're pretty dull at the end. They're about as sharp as a fork. These are surprisingly fun to work with and they slide together relatively easy. That's a quick little fun activity for a dollar. Pipe cleaners for a dollar. You get 45 pipe cleaners. You've got your color input. You've got the fuzzies. Pliability of them. You can bend and twist. Thinking of steam, you can give them four pipe cleaners and a dowel and see if they could somehow suspend the dowel up in the air as a challenge. Velcro, you get one yard, so three feet of Velcro. You can cut it up, you could glue it onto different pieces, you could just see what the children do with a long piece, see how it connects and pulls apart. And at my four-year-old class, and certainly by kindergarten, when we have them visit our maker space area, we model this. We model how a brad works, we model how Velcro works, how tape works, how glue works, the different ways to attach, to fasten, to adhere. These are really great vocabulary words, but they're really important concepts for this 21st century thinking. So you can get one container of Play-Doh brand Play-Doh for a dollar, or you can get about six small containers of um, this other brand or a few other random brands for a dollar. I generally stick with the Play-Doh, unless I know it's an activity I'm gonna use once and be done with it, because the Play-Doh in Play-Doh brand is just such better quality really is. I know you can make Play-Doh at home and there's so many fabulous recipes. I have co-teachers who have made amazing Play-Doh recipes. I personally can never seem to get it right and cream of tartar is not so cheap so I generally just buy my Play-Doh. Play-Doh is great. Play-Doh by itself is amazing for sculpting, for creating, for going up but add a few dowels to the mix See what the children can create. Add some clips to that and keep your creations going up. Mm -hmm. 